This is the Unitarian Church of Lincoln's daily video update for Monday, August 10th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. In this series, we're exploring our, our congregations and our traditions, seven principles. The fifth principle is this, the right of conscience and the use of the democratic process within our congregations and in society at large. The democratic process is sacred for us. When ministers in our tradition are called or ordained, it's not through the denomination or a bishop. It's through the election by the congregation. When we listen for the still small voice speaking in the whirlwind, it's often right here in the gathering place with a committee or a board debating and voting on what direction the congregation will take. This is not an idle commitment. If we're serious, if, as we talked about at length last week about balancing the individual and collective of being both free and responsible, then the way we work through all of that is through the democratic process, which is also not the same thing as saying that we will all always agree. I've lost arguments in this room and rooms like it in at least four Unitarian Universalist congregations. Some of those arguments I still think I'm right about, but the principle is about the democratic process, not the consensus process. And that's an important distinction to make. While we value and aspire to consensus when we can find it, we are not a tradition that defers decisions until the body reaches consensus. I'm also recording this in the late summer of 2020, so it seems um, important to say that the principle says within our congregations and in society at large. We are committed to the democratic process in society at large, which means if you are a Unitarian Universalist and are listening to this, you have two obligations. First, to participate in the process, get educated about candidates, advocate, listen, advocate more, call, put up yard signs and vote, vote nationally, sure, absolutely, but also get involved at the state and local level. And the second obligation is this, advocate for the process. Voting rights are civic rights, but they are also a specific named religious value for Unitarian Universalists. Many of our members spend election days as poll workers. This is a civic act, but it is also an act of faith. In both ways, it is an example to all of us. Democracy is hard, both in our congregations and in the broader world, but the alternatives are antithetical to everything that we say we value. The democratic process is sacred. See you tomorrow.